It's not clickbait. On March 9th, I will be hosting my last theory episode, at which point I will be handing off the channels to someone else. What's up, guys? Your boy Alien CX. Today, guys, we'll be talking about something that's kind of sad a little bit. It involves um, the famously known YouTuber, the YouTuber and the owner of the gaming channels, which is Game um, Theories. Game Theories. He did make a video recently, which was today, an hour ago, about him pretty much retiring from the series and kind of ending it off to the rest of his other, pe to the rest of the other people. That are part of his team is gonna be ending it off to them, game TVs and the rest of his other channels. Which is pretty kind of sad. We're gonna, I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth into this video, and talk about a little bit of the stuff he's talking about, which we get to get to know more about him and more about why he's choosing to quit in general. But yeah, let's get into this. Let's go. There it is. That's it. Send tweet. We're all done here. That's all you need to know, right? Oh wow. Forgive me, by the way, if I, uh, I'm a little bit more disorganized than usual. Uh, normally, I would want to script out something like this pretty precisely. But with an announcement like this, I wanted to bring it back to just us. There, there's no one else in the room. There's no teleprompters. There's no nothing. It's just the way that this whole thing started. It's a conversation between us. And uh, sorry that I keep getting emotional about this. Um, I, I'll, I'll try not to, but, it, but it's a big deal. You know, like, if you think about it, this channel is Steph and my first child, really. Before we had Ollie, before we had Skip, Catbat, like, it was this. This was our baby. This channel has been going for 13 years. I think in total it's, it's somewhere around like 1,200 theories. And um, only half of those are FNAF. Shocking, I know, we actually did stuff that wasn't FNAF related. But this has been a literal third of my life and I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss this. I value what we have here. I value this conversation, this openness, this relationship that we share. And I'm sad that I won't be able to see you every week. Okay, this is the part where he kind of goes in depth a little bit into the fact that he's, he's still have not fully said the main reason why he's gonna leave, why he's the reason why he's planning to leave. Which I might skip a little bit in this video so we can try to get to the main point of the reason he's trying to leave you. But this main point, why he's pretty much trying to say right here, is the fact that he's gonna miss this community and miss the people in the channel. Which the original video is gonna be linked in the description. You wanna watch the full video in full? I can understand in general. I think you should watch it in full so you get to fully understand what's going on and the reason why he's doing this. But yeah. It is kind of sad because I used to watch Game Theory. I didn't watch it on a regular basis, but I still watched it and dabbled into it once in a while. So for me too, this is kind of painful. I'm used to seeing his face on almost every single video. So it is going to kind of be wild not seeing him as part of it anymore though. That would be kind of crazy. Which then I guess prompts the question of like, why? Why am I doing this now? Why am I making this announcement today? Why am I walking away from the channels? Well, to be honest, um, it was Tom Scott. You can blame Tom Scott. <laughs> Tom just did his farewell video and I'm like, huh, well, he was able to do it. I want to be able to fly away in a helicopter. Obviously, that's not it. Um, but really, my reasons for making this announcement today is probably largely the same as Tom's reasons or Seth Everman's or Captain Sparkles or Papa Meats or Stampy Longheads. Like, there's a lot of these videos that are coming out these days, and there's gonna be a lot more happening throughout this year. Steph and I have known this video would be coming for the last three years. We weren't sure it was necessarily gonna be today. We didn't know exactly when it would fall, but we knew it was gonna happen eventually. That's why over the last couple years, we've been staffing up so much. That's why we partnered with a larger company to help run the channels. That's why we've been spending so much time outside of this box training up the team to make the best videos that they can because we knew that we couldn't do this forever we knew that honestly we didn't want to do this forever for as much as i love you and i love overthinking things and i love theorizing i don't love late nights i don't love the fact that steph and i have been work first for over a decade where i'm sitting down at dinner with my best friend and we're talking about business logistics 
or we're talking about animatronic toes. I miss the days where I could just sit down on the couch with her and play video games, and it's not for content. Or I'm playing a game, and I'm not thinking about what theories are going to come out of that. I miss it. So that's, that's a big reason. That was, that was a big one right there. Uh, but also just the internet's changing. My life has changed in the last 13 years. I, I mentioned Dolly before. He's the coolest little dude, and he's getting older by the minute. And I watch him, and he is so much fun, and he is so much smarter than I was when I was his age. He also probably knows the FNAF lore better than I do, which is a problem that I should probably address at some point. But honestly, I want to be able to spend more time with him. Another sad fact of the matter is, is I'm getting older. I'm 37 now. <sighs> the other day, I actually had to Google my own age. And you know that when you have to start like doing math, in your head to calculate how old you are, you are over the hill, my friends. Though to be fair, to my credit, I think I'm like the only 37-year-old out there who has an unironic appreciation of Skibbity Toilet. Then again, maybe that's the problem, right? <laughs> like, maybe that's not a good thing. And honestly, because this is all about us being honest, there is a bit of a selfish side to this. When you think about it, there's only really two ways to step away from a YouTube channel. You either just decide the day that you stop uploading and you're like, I'm done. Or you just keep uploading videos from now until the heat death of the universe, and you watch as your relevance slowly dies, or your passion slowly dies. And for me and my journey in this place, I always wanted to go out on a high note. And when you stop and look at the last year, this has been the best year in the theorist lifespan ever. Like, no joke. It is our highest view year. Uh, it is the year where we launched style theory and immediately put our foothold in a brand new space. And that took off. And now we're one of the top style and fashion channels on YouTube. And that kind of completes the trifecta of, hey, we now have a top channel in four different verticals that are completely different. And no other YouTuber really has ever been able to do it to that scale. That's amazing. This is also the year where I was able to meet you guys at our Broadway show. I was able to play at the PGA and show that, hey, YouTubers aren't particularly good at golf, but they can make your event relevant for like a couple of minutes. See, he came out went full in depth and showed, telling the reason why he's leaving. And the main reason is mostly has to do with the fact that he's growing older. He wants to move on with his life, spend more time with his family and spend more time with his son and mostly just live which a lot of times for a lot of people don't know that a lot of people that do YouTube, it does kind of seem like YouTube, mostly when you're trying to be successful and mostly when you're successful, and it's mostly becomes kind of like majority of your entire life to where you have a lot of people that burn out. So like example, some of the YouTubers as I mentioned that are leaving YouTube, some of them are leaving temporarily because of burnout, and some of them are leaving because of, they've been doing it for so long that they want to move on to a different plan in their life to where YouTube is not a part of it. They just want to just move on because they're growing old and their entire existence they don't want it to just be only youtube they want to be also to be able to live and go with their kids and go with their family which i respect them for that though and yeah i want to get on to one more point that he's going to make and we're going to be ending this video very soon but i just want to also praise him for that also the year that i got to host the streamy awards and it wasn't cringe i mean to be to be fair the streamy awards are always a little bit cringe but uh it was it was the right amount of cringe. When I pull up videos of all my favorite creators and I watch them and all of a sudden I start hearing people just casually dropping, that's just a theory. It's just a theory, a game theory. Now this is just a theory, people. At the end of the day, it's just a game theory. That's just a theory. A free birds theory. Also a lot of lore, so if you're a big theory head, proceed at your own risk. I Sorry. did not know about this theory. Or that's a theory. Okay. That right there? That is incredible. That's the note that I want to leave on. I won't lie in this video, it does go a lot more in depth than other stuff as in the people that are going to be taking over the channel and stuff. But that's not the main thing I wanted to focus on in this video. The main thing I wanted to focus on was mostly saying goodbye to Matt and wishing him a good luck in life. And I know he's still going to be part of the channel, so he's not going to really be the face of the channel anymore. And also, the reason I also show you this last clip too is the fact that, as you can see, how much his channel and his inspiration of him and everything that he created has impacted the entire culture of youtube and for him for that in general we all want to say thank you to you matt and you're a legend and you're always going to be a legend for that bro wish you the good luck in life and hopefully you have an amazing day an amazing family and get to enjoy the rest of your time as 
yourself just doing stuff off of the YouTube channel and being yourself with your family. And it's an amazing thing to say that in general. I love the fact that he's taking the time for his own family, which it, it is kind of sad for the people that watch the videos on a regular basis. But at the same time, eventually all those videos are going to come. The more and more people go and more time comes and more year comes, you're going to see older YouTubers move on and you're going to see older YouTubers retire and move on while new YouTubers come into the line space in general. And it's sad, but it's just, it's just life. It's just change. But yeah, I'm going to end the video there. If you guys do enjoy this video, thank you guys for watching this. And if you feel, if you feel like you have enough time out of your day to watch another video, check out my video I just released recently on the new shit that just came out right now, bro. If you don't mind, that would mean a lot to me right now in general. Yeah, it's me, your April Alien. Peace out. Well.